Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to install a program called LibreOffice. Now, LibreOffice is an awesome program that is pretty much an alternative from having to pay for like Microsoft Office. Now, on this video, technically, I'm going to be showing you where you can get a discounted on the end of the video, how you can get like a Windows key or like Microsoft Office, pretty much less than $15. Unless you're a Mac, then you're probably going to have to say like $60. Um, but on this video, pretty much if you don't want to pay at all, then we're pretty much going to do an open source LibreOffice and showing you how to install on Windows 11. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do, all you honestly have to do is just go to a browser. You can choose any one you want to. I'm pretty much going to use the Microsoft Edge. It's not as bad as you think. Now the old Edge, yeah, that was another story. Regardless, here we are. And all we have to do is type in LibreOffice.com. Or it might be .org, but we'll see. I could be wrong. No, it's .org. So it automatically generates over. So that's a good one. So it's LibreOffice.org. And this is pretty much the layout. Now this version can change over time. And this is the currently the 7.3 is here, but there's all different versions. And this is actually regular popular on Linux system. And I actually use that a lot on Linux. I also need to start making some videos of that too. But regardless, this is on Windows 11. Regardless, all we have to do, you can click the download right here, or you can go to the top where it says download, and it tells you all different features that are there. We're also going to look for downloading LibreOffice. And it takes us to this location. Now you can choose all different versions. There's pretty much this. 7.2.5 that's probably more stable honestly than the current one but i always like to take a chance and take the latest one so you see other operating systems they pretty much have linux they have them for Macs, they have them for windows so that is freaking awesome but regardless we have windows here and depending on your system mine is a 64 bit and most likely in this current world we're probably using a 32 bit now if you want to download these like for linux and stuff like that you understand there's different types of Linux. So this is like the Deb and the RPM. They're, they're totally different. You have to understand the concept of Linux. If you don't know Linux, you, you know what I mean. You have to get used to it. Now, the Mac um, Silicon is actually like the newer version of Mac OS. And for the older Macs, pretty much it's Intel. You understand how that works. Microsoft are making their own Silicon system. So regardless, we're on Windows. So we're going to choose the regular 64-bit, what I have. You actually, honestly, we know how to torrent. That's probably another video I'll show you later on. You can torrent this. But honestly, we can just click the download. It's that simple. I'm going to go ahead and click download. And in case if it doesn't automatically go to download by itself, you can manually click it right here or choose another language if you need to. Um, pretty much there's a torrent. Again, you can choose that if you want to. But for right now, pretty much there's the LibreOffice that is downloading for Windows X64. And it's right now downloading. Now, mine's on the right corner. Yours could be different. Yours could be on the bottom area on the left like that, depending if you had Google Chrome or Firefox or, I don't know, Brave or, I don't know, there's so many. Opera, so, so many different browsers are out there today. Uh, it's a little overwhelming if a little bit think about it. Regardless, LibreOffice is pretty much done downloading, so we can pretty much press open the file right now. Now, if it somehow got to this and you don't know where your downloads went to, it, it could be possibly on your desktop or it could be in your downloads or where you last downloaded at. As you do see, I have a big chunk of other programs that I already have that I've pretty much installed. I'll just delete these right now. And I'll actually skip that right now because technically we're using LibreOffice. This is free Office I can delete. So this is my current download. You might change the view how you want to look too. It's up to you. You know what I mean? Regardless, that's the LibreOffice. And you can click right there. Again, I was on the browser. I can just press open. From this point, you honestly don't need the browser anymore. I can X this out. And this is the process of LibreOffice 7.3.0.3. So this actually has changed a lot since my last video. So it's a little bit different. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and press next. And there's customization and there's typical. Um, we can choose a custom if you want to. By default, honestly, just click typical and just press next. It's that simple. But in case whoever doesn't they want to know, we're going to go ahead and press custom. And then there's features right here if you want to. Optional components and user interface languages that you can choose. So this is pretty much just basic settings and where the location is. Now, if you're a tech and you know where you're going to install this at a different location, then this is pretty much the changed location set. But for the time period, just leave it as is and then press next. This gives you options if you want to install other programs. Pretty much LibreOffice can be set by default applications to open up Microsoft Office. Now, by default, I will tell you to select all of them. That's only if you don't have pretty much Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and stuff. Visio, that's actually an awesome one that I like to use too. So this one's actually a viewer right there because Vis the Visio itself is a crazy program on Microsoft that I use a lot for pretty much drafting and structures like that that we use for layouts. But these are actually the features, so you want them to be set. I would actually check them. That will be easier. 
and then we'll go ahead and press next. You can create your pretty much desktop shortcut if you want one. If you don't, you can just uncheck it. It's up to you. And then it says join if you want LibreOffice during system startups. I don't want this to start up by default. I honestly don't like any programs to start up by default when you sign into Windows. That, trust me. I really hate that. So kind of it's already set. I will press install and let it do its work. Now here it is. I know it's going to happen. I should have just said this before. You'll probably be prompted. Now if you have this disable wrong prompt to you, then you understand you'll skip that. But most likely you will get this. So go ahead and press yes to give permission. And now uh, it's pretty much validating the installation and doing updates and process like that. So here it is. It's doing stuff, updating components, registrations, probably registry stuff like that too, and copying more files. Then you can't believe, honestly, I don't, I don't, Windows has so many files that gets installed all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and let it do its work and let it process. So right now, pretty much the program called LibreOffice has actually already appeared on the desktop, but I'm going to let this continue doing itself. It's pretty much, oh, that's a cool feature. Install some special fonts that come on there on Windows 2. Actually, a cool feature. I totally forgot about that. Regards to still doing its work, and pretty much here it is. This is the installation wizard is completed, and it says finished. So LibreOffice is actually right here, and just making, I'm going to go to start menu, and it has extra features like the writer, that's pretty much Word, then press is pretty much the PowerPoint. Um, they're safe. The draft is pretty much going to be like an Excel layout, if I'm correctly. Um, see, we can scroll down as we scroll through. Also, they created a folder called LibreOffice, and this is a pretty much the features. Impress, um, drawings, calculator actually will be the one that looks actually like um, Excel. Base is probably going to be like database. So actually, installed, this is pretty much all the features, honestly, that you do pretty much on Microsoft Office. So you literally have all these features. Regardless, here's LibreOffice. You can click the actual shortcut. And we're not going to expand this. It's probably loading up. And from here, we can choose what type. So pretty, this is pretty much an open file. So you can open up your stuff that's there. Or you can choose what you want to. So this is pretty much the writer. This is honestly probably the most common one that everyone's going to use. This is pretty much the word. It tells you what type of features and themes. You, you, stuff like that. And you have latest versions. And this is pretty much the layout for that one. Now, if you don't want to use that one, I'm going to go ahead and open up LibreOffice again. You can pretty much use, this is going to be a spreadsheet, so it's going to be like Excel layout. If you want to open up the PowerPoint, you'll choose the Impress Presentation. So pretty much what's your presentation, you understand it's going to be a PowerPoint. And they're pretty much they are. You can customize, you can choose one, or you can add it later. And that's pretty much the PowerPoint. Now let's see what else is here. We pretty much have... The base is pretty much just going to be the database. It's pretty much going to be access. That's the process like using access. So you need to understand how you're doing like that. And they do have some drawing and math formulas. I honestly have not used these before. These are kind of actually new ones to me. Because I remember when this program kind of just came out, I only remembered the pretty much the writer, calculator, and PowerPoint and stuff like that. But pretty much the program is installed and you pretty much have it set. And it's a free open source that you can use for this and not having to pay a pretty much a dime from paying for Microsoft Office or paying for that subscription. You know what I mean? But that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. If you are searching for a cheaper route for like a Windows 10 product key, or maybe you don't want to pay for that monthly subscription for Microsoft Office, then head over to premiumcdkeys.com. From there you can choose software, and you have a variety of different type of operating system product keys you need. They even have the Microsoft Office for discounted codes that you can use to activate them too. Just choose which one you want, and it'll be very useful. The one I'm going to use is go ahead and use a Windows 10 Pro product key and they tell you instructions and stuff if you need to do the ISO that's needed and activations how to do it it's pretty simple and just choose what you want I'm gonna go ahead and select add to cart for the Windows 10 Pro product key and then here we are I'm gonna go ahead and go to checkout and you can use our discount code called Helton's computer repair and press apply this will give you a small percentage of discount that helps you and helps us too. From there, you can type in your billing information or you can use PayPal. Be sure on the contact information for the email that you do use an email that you have access to because that is where they're going to pretty much send you the product key for the activations for it. So you will need that to be done. And that should be pretty much it. Just go ahead and complete your transaction and everything should be good. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.